first of all, congratulations on being a part of this. Uh, Ocean Explorers has been a very beautiful program that has been very informational. Um, for you, what what sparked your passion for being a researcher of of um, you know the wild and nature? Yeah, thank you so much. And you know, I didn't begin my career thinking I was going to be an ocean researcher. I've always loved the ocean and was raised in a family that really encouraged me to get outside and love nature. Um, but when I got to college, I looked around a lot of my biology classes and didn't necessarily, I didn't feel like I fit with all of these other pre-med students. Um, and thankfully it was actually through National Geographic that I learned that I could combine all of these interests with the marine science and the communications into one. Um, and so I actually was, my first job was as an intern at Nat Geo, that then I got to meet so many explorers that it inspired me to become an explorer myself. Um, and through that, I got to cultivate this love of research and that, you know, ultimately led me to graduate school and ultimately to get my PhD in marine science. That's awesome. Uh, and how important is it to have a platform like Nat Geo that encourages, you know, the dissemination of information so people can, you know, consider the conservation of these biomes that uh, they wouldn't necessarily learn about any other way. Nash, uh, something like National Geographic is so important to bringing these stories of ocean conservation into the homes of people all around the world. And I think one of the most exceptional things about Nat Geo is that they are meeting people where they're at in so many places. You can find the magazine, right? It's on social media, bringing little clips on social media. And then through shows like Ocean Explorer that really transport people into these environments. What does it feel like to be in that submersible, you know, hundreds of feet below the ocean surface or to be in the helicopter over the Arctic looking at these polar bears? Polar bears. It's really um, exceptional. And it's so important because we know that our ocean faces a lot of threats. You know, we have the threat of climate change and plastic pollution and overfishing, and it really takes people understanding what these threats are and then being inspired to take action in order to combat them. And uh, Ocean Explorers does an amazing job of not just showing how beautiful the ocean is, but how important it is, it is to our everyday lives. Uh, you know, what is, does it, how, how do you feel being able to share your knowledge and uh, you know, showing people that this is a topic that, you know, deserves much more attention and that we don't know much about. You know, one of the, the really important things about the show Ocean Explorers is that there really is this emphasis on real science that helps us better understand these ecosystems and the animals that live there ultimately to protect them. Um, and so I, for example, I was on one of the episodes, I worked in my PhD on great hammerhead sharks very specifically. And it, as someone who cares a lot about the ocean and is a marine scientist, sometimes it can feel overwhelming that there are so many problems. There's so many areas that you could focus your time and energy. Um, and I think one of the things that really comes across in the show is showing that it really takes all of these different people focusing on their specific area and their specific skill set and bringing it together for these much larger outcomes of understanding our ocean. Um, and so it is really special for me to share my science on such an incredible platform um, and then hopefully inspire others to ask questions about the ocean and what they can do to help the ocean. Uh, one of the things that I've been reading about ocean explorers is that a lot of the the exploration you guys have been doing has been brand new. That It's something that you guys weren't, weren't able to do before. Uh, this, is this because of funding that the National Geographic the, uh, brings or uh, what is it that, you know, has created the opportunity to explore the ocean in a new way? You know, the technology for ocean exploration is um, incredible and has been improving, improving, improving over the course of decades. Um, there are a lot of really uh, incredible organizations doing um, really intriguing and interesting deep sea research. Um, something that ocean this Ocean Explorers show brings is trying to show research in a lot of different areas and bring it to a much uh, bigger audience um, through, of course, National Geographic. Um, 
you know, so some of the research that we do can be in really hard to reach places or is frankly really expensive. Uh, for example, uh, for the great hammerhead sharks, it costs money to go out on the water on these small boats. The tags that we put out are quite expensive. And a lot of times uh, I'm applying for a grant here and a grant there for a thousand dollars or whatever. But when you're able to partner with um, something that has such incredible resources, it really makes a big difference. So for example, when you have a small boat on this larger vessel, being able to go and find one of our tags was actually a lot easier because we were already at sea. You can hop in a small boat and go find one of the tags. Um, so I think one of the things that uh, is really exceptional about the show is that it brings people on to the state-of-the-art research vessel for views that they maybe would have never seen otherwise. Uh, beside the funding, it also brings together uh, different scientists that have the same passion you do. Uh, what is it like to you know be on a program that that has so many different people who are very passionate who go out there and you know do this this work uh, and put all of themselves into a researching a topic like uh, the oceans. Yeah, I think there, there's two main things. Um, first, I think the show does a really great job of showing how there are so many different people with different skill sets that can come together and answer really big questions. Um, and the second thing is, I wish uh, there was almost a, another part of the show where you could see what it was like at the breakfast table in the morning as we're all sitting around talking about the day, talking about the science and the animals. And I think you know, the enthusiasm that you see and the passion that you see on camera just is the way it is off camera. You know, we spend our free time also nerding out about the ocean and about research. And I think um, I, I hope that that comes across of of how genuine the passion is. Uh, for you, uh, as you research sharks, uh, how do, how important is it to put the information out there so people uh you, you break the myths that people have that in inspire fear in them yeah you know shark research specifically looking at the great hammerheads great hammerheads are one of the most recognizable species on the planet you ask every any fifth grader and they're going to tell you their favorite shark is the great hammerhead shark um, but they're actually quite difficult to study because they're so big and wide ranging. Um, we can't easily obviously study them in a lab or even in aquariums. And so there's a lot of information we still need to gather about their basic biology and ecology. Um, and, you know, I feel so fortunate that through my research for my PhD, we're able to use this incredible technology to help answer some of these fundamental questions about great hammerhead sharks, which would then hopefully allow us to better conserve them in, in the future and protect them in the future. Uh, Did that answer your question? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, throughout the years, we, we've, we've got more and more uh, shark uh, programming, you know, uh, shark, uh, shark week, all, all this stuff that helps us uh, learn more about sharks uh, for you. You know, what has it been like uh, watching these programs grow throughout the years and now being a part of it? Yeah. You know, it is surreal to be a part of these of shark shows because you know i've done a few now and in all of them i'm just doing my job that i'd normally be doing and then um to hear people reach out from all corners of the globe and ask questions about sharks um has been really exceptional and i think Sometimes I forget, right? When you go to your job and I'm surrounded by shark researchers and we're all working on this sort of work together, I forget that that's not the norm for a lot of people. And I work with a lot of women, for example, but then I'll do an event with kids and they're like, I didn't even know this is a job that I could have. And seeing a young woman doing that job is, is also inspiring to them. So um, that has been really exceptional as well. And I think it is so important to see in the show the diversity of people from all over the planet with all walks of life and all different areas of expertise that they can all apply that to ocean conservation. Definitely. Well, congratulations on this. And thank you very much for the work you do. Thank you so much. It was great to meet you.